again. Hello, hello, everybody. I am Damini Celebri, and welcome to Connect In. Connect In is a weekly broadcast about the benefits of getting out of your head and back into your heart. Um, I have been, for the past 25 years, helping to navigate people into living the best expression of themselves through five-element acupuncture, shamanism, and embodied creativity. Because I believe that that threesome is uh, truly what helps us get out of our head, and our head is where all our limitations are, or most of them, uh, and back into what our heart and soul holds essential. It's pretty groovy, huh? So, um, I'm, you know, and so every, every week I talk about different ways to connect in with yourself. And because this is the holiday season, for, um, for us in the U U.S., it's the Thanksgiving season. It's kind of the start of the winter holiday extravaganza <laughs> that happens. And, um, you know, I really think that way before the pandemic, we needed tools to navigate the holiday season. Because I don't know about you, and yeah, I'm an introvert. I get it. Um, I don't like big stores. I don't like crowds. I get like, ee! and so maybe creating some tools to help navigate the e <laughs> eek is, uh, was to my benefit as well. But if it's me, then I think there's a lot of you out there that feel the same way. So when we came into the pandemic, then, you know, we had a whole other ball of things to navigate. And you know, for some of us, we stayed more introverted. Some of us were nav trying, are still <laughs> trying to navigate how to be out in a crowd. And so what I thought I would do today is really give you one tool, and I call it Super Shield, to help you navigate going out into the world. So let's back that up for a second. I offer a program called Tools of the Heart, and it's a 21-day program to help you get out of your head and back into your heart so you could be calm, centered, and authentically you, no matter what life throws your way. And because it's the holidays and because I am really so passionate that we all deserve to be our most amazing self, um, I've put together a really super bundle. Okay, so pause for a minute and just listen to what I'm saying for a second. Not only am I super giving you a, price, a super price for Tools of the Heart, but I am throwing in the Creative Visioning Bundle. The Creative Visioning Bundle is uh, four different mini programs that help you uh, envision how you want your life to go from fear forward, which is a good thing to do in New Year's. It also gives you a whole bunch of tools to navigate life and that is um, the fallout shelter for the soul there is some um, there's a program in there about how to connect to nature and how to connect back to your creative uh, your creative goodness so there's four programs in a bundle that i call the creative visioning bundle and that is part of the tools of the heart program so that will go through till Monday. So if you want to stop right now, go online, look at DominiCelebrity.com, go over to Tools of the Heart. That special is right there for you right now. Okay, so there was my little admin, right? But let's go back and talk about navigating life during the holidays, right? And we need to do that where we can do what we need to do, not freak out when we're in the store, not freak out when we're in crowds, right? Do you all do this? Or are you totally into like, oh yeah, I can go shopping at 5 a.m. and I can navigate this. And, you know, especially for women, I feel like we, uh, we put this whole list on ourselves. And it's like, oh yeah, I could do that. And I could do that. And I could do that. Sure, I could do it. I can be 
Superwoman, Wonder Woman, you know, any woman out there is all of those things because we're not only navigating ourselves, we're navigating everybody else in the household as well. Whether that is your feline, canine, human friends, or whatever, right? Uh, chances are we're all can caretaking somebody and some other being on top of life and jobs and all of that. So how do you stay centered, grounded, and kind of sovereign in who you are, no matter what life throws your way, right? That is the thing that we need to do the most. And so take a moment and just think about what kind of things do you do to keep your shit together? Sorry, I'm a little East Coast spiritual here. <laughs> I do use words like that. But, you know, what do you do when you're losing yourself, when you are a hot mess and you're like, oh, my God, I have to, like, pull myself together? You know, do you leave? Do you leave where you are? Do you silently close your eyes and cross your fingers and wish that they're going to keep saying there's no place like home, there's no place like home, there's no place like home? Or do you just pause and say, oh, shit, I'm just like losing my beans here, right? And that's okay. I think pausing is the very first thing that you can do to know, like that's your first cue, to know that you could be navigating life um, differently. So the way to navigate the holidays, the way to be Teflon, there's a couple of simple steps that I'm going to take you through. Right? The first one is to really know that you are <laughs> losing your beans. Like you are just losing your tether um, that could show up as I don't know what I have to get at the store. I'm overwhelmed. Excuse me. I'm overwhelmed. There's too many people. Blah, 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 blah. Right? Believe it or not, some people can cascade in that and not even realize that they are untethering. Right? Just like, you know, I always think about those moments like uh, you have a helium balloon. You're holding the string. You're holding the string between two fingers and your fingers start to relax, and you can feel the string of the helium balloon starting to slide out. You're like, ah! <laughs> right? Do you all have that experience? Thumbs up, thumbs down, yeah. Just say, yeah, like. And so step one is to notice that you are losing control of how you feel, right? Step two is to pause, right? So one's a mental experience. The pause is actually a physical experience where you pause, you take a breath. And now the next step in taking a breath is bring your breath down to your belly and down to your feet. And you could do that whether you're waiting in line, whether you're going into um, going down a hall or a, a hallway or an aisle. Like just take a moment, like stare at the products and just Breathe. Feel your feet on the ground. Okay, that's step two, right? Step one is to notice. Step two is to breathe. Step three is to bring your breath to your belly and to your feet. Right? Now, the next step could be a little tricky, but I think you can, I've, I've done all these things in crowds, so I think you can navigate this. The next step is just to kind of lay your hands over your chest, really leaving your, laying your hands over your heart. And just for a minute, like coming back in and connecting with you, right? Coming back in and just saying, okay, I'm here, I'm flesh and bones, I'm warm, I'm breathing, I'm here in my body. Putting your hands on your chest actually brings you back into your body. Right? And this is where this technique can get a little, uh, maybe a little bit different. So from here, feel the warmth under your hands. Right? Feel the warmth and feel the glow of your heart. So the light of your heart 
the thing that keeps you warm, however you want to imagine that, right? This is where we use the power of imagination in a very specific way. You know, the difference, the brain doesn't differentiate the difference between what we imagine and what is really happening. And you can do some research on that with uh, elite athletes. But for now, let's talk about the light in your heart, right? Imagine, and again, you could still be stealing it, staring at products. You could still be breathing and feeling your feet on the ground. But imagine that light filling up every nook and cranny in your body. Yeah, does that, it, it already feels different. You must be trying it. So feeling all the light filling you up from in every nook and cranny. And in fact, if you were to locate yourself from the outside in, you would be this glowing being of light. So still staring at product, still having a conversation with a family member where you're freaking out, whatever's happening. You got your hand on your chest. Uh, you're feeling yourself being filled up with your light. And now imagine that light moving out to the surface of your skin, right? So it's really, you know, in Chinese medicine, it's coming out to your protective layer, like a whole bunch of different medicine, uh, medical complementary medicine uh, systems have this idea. So it's got to be true, right? So if you bring your light from the outside, from the inside to your outside, imagine you're being um, imagine like you have a wetsuit of golden light. So how's that feel for you? Right? So now if you were looking at yourself from the outside in, you would be golden on the inside and shimmering golden on your skin surface. <laughs> it's pretty cool, huh? Now just imagine that light, your light, just moving a little bit further till you have like this golden egg all around you. That's the super shield, right? So when you are filled up, here's a couple really important things. When you are filled up with yourself, with your light, right? Nothing can get in but love. I'm gonna say that again, because I think it's really worth repeating. When you are filled up with your light, nothing can get in but love. Okay, so that means, you know, the grumpiness and the freak out at the grocery store or at the, um, the department store, the kind of grumpy family member that is going on and on and on about something. Or that family member that is saying, hey, you should be doing blah, 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 right? All of that. When you are filled up with yourself and you are surrounded by your golden egg, you are Teflon. And Teflon, for those of you who don't know what that phrase is, Teflon is this coating that they put on uh, saucepans that make you nonstick. So when you are filled up, and extend your golden light to this egg all around you, you are like Teflon. Nothing sticks to you. And the only thing that can get in is love. Right? So when you, I've been looking at a lot of uh, Wonder Woman uh, gifts, you know, and I always love how she has those shields on her wrists and she can kind of fend off things. So think about this super shield, this golden egg around you, deflecting anything that you don't want to get in. So basically everything comes in but love. So let me go through that all again, because I think it's super important. So not only can you use this um, when you are in the grocery store, when you're losing your shit, when you are becoming a hot mess, when you are untethering, you can also use this when you have to have a really challenging conversation with your teenage 
child. Uh, when you have a coworker that is starting to um, irk you, that is pushing your buttons, when we get our buttons pushed, it's really easy to lose our center. You know, when you're in a fight with your sweetie, all of these things, it's like the goal of living, the goal, the way to become, the way to live your most authentic self, to be your brightest, best self, is to learn to stay within yourself, right? To stay centered and calm and sovereign. So when you are like beside yourself, right? You're outside of your body energetically. Like when you begin to come in and breathe and stay sovereign in yourself, you are unstoppable. You are like those little gold bands in uh, Wonder Woman. All right, so let's do this one more time. So take a moment, notice how you feel. We're going to do the whole super shield Teflon thing, all right? All right, wherever you are, imagine that you're in a, in a situation that pushes your buttons, right? All you want to do is pause, one, recognize your buttons are being pushed, right? Two, you want to breathe into your belly, into your hips. Feel the weight of you on the earth. So if you're sitting, or you could feel your, the butt, your butt on the chair. If you're standing, feel your feet on the ground. All right. Breathe all the way down, right? Breathing down, with, breathing with your attention to your feet helps get you out of your head and brings you back into your body. That is so important, no matter what we do in our life. Then, if it feels comfortable for you, just go ahead and place your hands on your heart. Connect in. Oh, yeah, I'm here. I'm in my body. It's warm. It's soft. My heart's beating. Like, just bring your awareness back to your body. Great. Now, imagine that the warmth that is under your hands is this golden light. And really imagine this golden light filling up every nook and cranny of your body. That should give you an experience of feeling a bit more solid, a bit more centered, a bit more in you. Right? Now imagine that golden light going out to the surface of your skin and then filling, uh, then creating this kind of golden egg all around you. Right? So you're filled up from the inside out. That blue, that egg, that golden egg around you is like Teflon, where nothing can get in except love. People's bad moods, shoppers, anxieties, whatever else, life pandemic issues, right? You could do this before you leave your house every morning. And you can go through your day being a super shield. Now, if it's awkward to put your hands on your heart, just imagine, you know, that you could feel the warmth of your heart. You know, put your hands on your legs if you're sitting at a dinner table, something like that. Like, connect to your body, connect to your light, fill yourself up, let that come out to your skin, and then surround you in this beautiful golden egg. That is your super shield. Now, over time, that'll disperse mostly because we get back up into our head and we start twirling and <laughs> whirling. But the more you do this, the quicker it is to do. It's just a super, super important tool for you to live you. <laughs> live life as you. Live life as the heart-centered, sovereign person that you are. Now, Again, I'm just reminding you that Tools of the Heart, uh, it's a 21-day program. It's starting in January. Um, I am super excited to give you tools to live your most amazing life, to teach you tools to live your most amazing life. And if you sign up over this holiday season, you will get the Visionary Bundle. 
which is uh, Fallout Shelter for the Soul, How to Connect with Nature, How to Connect with Your Creative Life Force. And yeah, there's one more which has totally gone out of my head. Anyway, it is at least about 15 short exercises that can help you manage life, right? When you can manage life, you can be all that you want to be, right? So go over to DominiCelebri.com, go to Tools of the Heart, and the bundle is included, plus very special I Love You discount. You know, we all want to make a change in the world, and sometimes that is just some beautiful random act of kindness. More importantly, it's how we we can make the changes we want to make when we are centered and grounded and sovereign in ourselves. Mm -hmm. So let me share with you 25 plus years of helping people navigate that. Tools of the heart, DominiCelebrity.com. In the meanwhile, I am profoundly grateful that you are watching and listening to this right now. If you have any questions, I'm in this super generous, loving mode right now, reach out, contact me, uh, DM me, ask me a question. Ask me how living a life as your brightest, best self can change you and the world. Okay. Until then, um, happy Thanksgiving if you're in the States. Happy fall if you are in the Northern Hemisphere. And um, know that I'm sending you much love and have a beautiful day. Mwah.